This video is titled Sing, Air, Slide, Buzz, Play. And it's not an exercise, but just rather an approach that I use to help brass players learn difficult passages of music. The kind of passages that they might be cacking all over because of big leaps or, or just something technically difficult. So let's pretend that your brass players are supposed to play a B-flat major arpeggio, just ascending, something like this. If they're having trouble with that, or any other passage, you can have to go through this five-step process. The first part is to sing the passage, and this is really important because the brass players, they have to be able to know what their passage sounds like, otherwise they'll have no chance to play it. So you have them sing the passage, and you have them sing it with the right syllables. So in this case, to 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 You want them to go for singing it in tune, to sing it with any kind of articulation that they're supposed to use in the music, any kind of dynamics that they're supposed to use in the music. That all has to be included in there because that's going to help when they go to the next steps of this process. And be sure to sing it to them or play it on the piano if necessary, um, just to, to help them get exactly in tune. The next part is to do the air. So you think of those same syllables, you think of the same melody that we just sang, but we just do the air pattern, like this. And what you're going for on this is just really clear pitches in the airstream. You should be able to hear the melody in the airstream. Uh, you're going for relaxation of the body, making sure that there's no tension in the throat, that the tongue isn't starting the notes like this. And, you know, anything that sounds peculiar, you want to address right away. So that's the air aspect of it. And I should say, all of these, these steps, you want to be able to demonstrate yourself uh, especially the air and the, uh, the singing of it, uh, just to help them along. Uh, I find, especially with the air portion, they, they need to hear what it's supposed to sound like. So the next step is to work on the slide technique, or if it's a, one of the valve brass instruments, just the, you know, the valve technique, uh, in conjunction with the air. So what I do is I have my students put their mouthpiece on the chin, and they go through the pattern while using the slide as well. And this, you're going for relaxation, you're going for the slide arriving at the destination in time, uh, not having that, that jolt that can uh, occur when you're moving the slide quickly. Uh, in terms of valves, you're going for you know, valves that come in, come down on, on the, at the right time in conjunction with the, the, the air. Uh, so you're just going for accuracy in that case. Next, you can have this, the, the kids buzz uh, on the mouthpiece, and you can do this before if you want, or you can take this part out, or you can isolate just the buzz, whatever works for you in the situation. I should say that for all of them. If you just want to work on just the slide technique, you know that's, that's part of the problem. Just take the slide portion of this and do it by itself. It's highly adaptable. But anyway, next part is the buzz. So we buzz the, the, the pattern. <laughs> Again, you're going for accuracy with the pitch. You're going for uh, a relaxation of the body while they're playing it, relaxation of the sound. Or as you're, you're trying to avoid stuff like this, where the pitch fizzles out. This is just to focus on making sure that the corners aren't too tight, but rather they will create a nice buzz in between, you know, right in the middle of the mouth. So you've worked with the buzz, you've worked with the singing, you've worked with all these other aspects of it. Now it's time to put everything back together and play the piece, or play the passage. Just like that. And if you have to read 
revisit things, that's great too. That's fine. Um, this is also something good for you to do if you're like, let's say you need to work with the flutes or the clarinets or any of the woodwinds for a little bit of time. Might say, hey brass, uh, work on the air pattern at bar 47, just like we've done in class. They can do their own thing while you're working with the other members of the ensemble. So just a really uh, effective way to work on technical passages.